Welcome back, everybody. Tis the season for eggnog. And here to show us um, some fun things to do with it is Michelle from Lamer's Dairy. Good morning, good to see you. Good morning, thanks for having us here again today. You bet, eggnog. So Lamer's Dairy is, of course, that wonderful family-owned dairy um, right off Highway uh, uh, 441. 441 in the CE exit. Great um, gift store with cheeses and gift boxes. You can go make up wonderful, you know, um, cheese boxes for presents and things like that. Gr of course, wonderful milk. It's a, we use it every day on the show. Great. Um, and um, heavy cream too, amazing heavy cream. But right. this time of year you do eggnog. Eggnog, yes, it's a seasonal product for us. And this year we actually had pumpkin spice eggnog, Ooh. which is really delicious. And then we also have our regular eggnog and it's been available for generations. And what is eggnog? Well, eggnog is basically, we use our RBGH free milk, goes okay. into it, and then it has eggs, cinnamon and nutmeg, um, and that's um, pretty much it. It really, you can make it homemade, but why bother? Yeah. Because Lamer's is so creamy and delicious. Mm, but people just, it's that holiday tradition, there's nothing better than, you know, sipping a cup of eggnog, uh, you right. know, by the fire, and but you can also cook with it and do some fun different things. Absolutely. So we're making eggnog French toast. What a fun thing to make during the holidays, especially on maybe uh, Christmas morning. So, all right, let's right. Get started. Well, since today's the theme of today's show is getting ready for Christmas, we thought, well, why not do a great breakfast? Eggnog French toast. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use our delicious Lamer's dairy eggnog. Okay. And it's available in a, a bunch of different varieties. And what we first want to do is cut some bread, and we want to do it a little bit thicker. We want to choose a dense bread. I like the Breadsmith um, Honey White because it's a nice dense bread, and you're going to cut it about three quarters of an inch thick. So even if you're just going to your local bakery, get a, a get a loaf of bread that's unsliced and slice it at yes, home yourself. Yes, that's okay. right. Because okay. you want to be able to control the size. And I know some people say they use the Texas French toast, mm -hmm. but that is um, not a great idea because it's really soft. Okay. And then the um, milk or the eggnog will saturate it and okay. it may fall apart. Okay. Should I be start, uh, start cracking some eggs? Great. Okay, yes, so we're going to pour eggs. Four eggs. Okay. Oh, that's so handy. Yes. Yeah, right now um, at Lamer's Dairy Country Store, we have everything to get ready for Christmas. In fact, everything for a great holiday breakfast. We have eggnog, we have whipped cream, mm. we have um, new skis um, products and Hanes bacon. I'm gonna fish the shell. Oh, okay. Love new skis bacon. That would be the perfect thing to serve with this. That's uh, right. um, here we go. Okay, got it out. So four eggs. That's right, and we have. We might want to put the um, pan on. Put you a bet. little bit of butter, about okay. a tablespoon of butter. Okay. And then we're going to just break these up, whisk it. Now this is a simple dish too because it's kind of a one, one bowl operation. That's my kind of recipe. Well, you know, moms are always tired on Christmas morning, I think, and so this is a very festive um, breakfast idea, but it um, can be done very simply. So it looks like a, it's a lot more impressive than it looks. So what I'm going to do is just take some of our um, eggnog that's okay. in our glass bottle. And I'm going to pour a cup and a half. Okay. Actually, right now we have also, we have holiday decorations and we have a great um, promotion going on in the store that if you, um, when you purchase one of our cheese boxes or gift baskets, you get a $5 gift certificate to use at the, um, after the holidays in the new year. So it's great. So. It's kind of Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Oh, there you go. I like that. Uh -huh. So four eggs, one and a half cups of eggnog. I see, is this some cinnamon? cinnamon? That's a okay. teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. And then some fresh grated eggnog. Or nutmeg. Oh, excuse me. That's nutmeg. okay. And boy, what a difference it makes to take the time and do the fresh stuff rather than, That's you right. know. Oh, it smells great. So now we've got our, our dense bread. That's right. And we're just ready to go. We're going to dip it in. And I didn't bring a tongs. That's, That's okay. I didn't We've have. got some. So I'll just drop that in. And as I said, we're really going to want to saturate that, make it really just kind of, I pat it a little bit to make sure it gets really soaked in there. You know what I can tell, Michelle, is that eggnog is really thick. It is. And so um, it's going to make this French toast. This is something that you'd see out at a, you know, a nice restaurant. Um, and you know what, you make it at home. Wow, everybody. Exactly. My daughter loves French toast. She would be all over this. Oh, great. Mm. It's very, very simple and it's so delicious and the creamy eggnog and when you buy a half gallon, it's like, you, of course you want to drink it all right away, but then what are some other fun things you can do with right. it? Right. So I'm just going to grab a plate so we can put oh, our ready? French toast on that. Great. So 
So this is just going to take a, you know, couple minutes on each side. That's Let's right. see how we're doing. And what I'll do is I'll get my whipped cream ready. Yeah. I have a little bit of powdered sugar in the bottom. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. People ask all the time how you make homemade whipped cream. And it's just heavy cream and then um, sometimes you can add vanilla and you use powdered sugar. I like I to use do. powdered sugar as yeah, well. Because it dissolves much easier. You don't get that little gr the grit from sugar. That's so. right. Um, and then you just beat it up. And as I mentioned, the heavy cream at Lamers, I, it's, it is so thick and, and amazing. It's delicious. And as I said, there's nothing in it. It's just milk and cream, no stabilizers, no other things. So I'm just going to pour that in. This is a cream whipper. If you don't have one of these at home, you just whip it with a whisk. I like to do this. Um, it's a fun little gadget that everybody loves to play with on Christmas morning. Sure. And it actually can go in the fridge. So what I'm going to do is add a CO2 cartridge here. Quick too. But we have also, as I mentioned, uh, we have some maple syrup at the dairy. We mm. have jams and jellies. We're just going to make a little bit of a noise when, okay. the, when that engages. That's it. And, and it's already whipped? It's already. You just shake it up a little bit, and then the gas will put some pressure on it. Okay, I be totally to want one of those for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, Ann said you're a whipped cream kind of gal. I am. I am. Nothing um, like homemade whipped cream. So, so there's, oh, sorry. There's no, there two ways go. to go on this. You can put just a little bit of powdered sugar on the top. Mm. Looks really nice, and just go with that and some whipped cream if you want. Oh, yeah. Bring on the whipped cream. I'm going to test that. Make sure we're... And maybe a little cinnamon on top? Yeah, that would be delicious. Oh my gosh. And wow. then, of course, you can put maple syrup if you want, depending wow. on what the individual wow. people like oh. in there. Thanks, Michelle. What are we making Thank next you. time? Eggnog quick bread. Ooh, yum. Sounds fantastic. Recipe for the French toast that we just made and that mold apple cranberry cider on the website. We'll be back.